Hey guys, this is the book buying tag. So I thought I'd put some books behind me here. Um, I was tagged by Katie from Katie Sec. I think that's how you say it. Um, and I used to be a huge, huge reader. I've always loved books. So this was a good, uh, good pick for me. 13 questions I'm gonna try to roll through pretty fast. Question number one, where do you buy your books from? So um, I almost always buy from used bookstores. Where we live right now, there is not a good used bookstore. There's actually like no used bookstore except for like the library stores, but the the books that they have there are not very great. Um, so I either order online or we go to a used bookstore in a nearby city. Number two, do you ever pre-order books? And if you do so, do you do it in store or online? So I don't do that because I don't really buy new books very much. Um, I don't think I've ever done that. But I do pre-order things from the library sometimes. If I hear about a new book that I want to read, um, I'll sort of like place a request and ask the library to acquire it. Or if there's like a wait list for it, if they just have like, you know, they don't have any copies yet or whatever, I'll sort of get on a wait list that way. Number three, on average, how many books do you buy a month? Right now, I don't really buy any, but I get a lot of books dropped from the library. Um, you know, a lot for the kids, but also for myself. For myself, I probably get about, I don't know, three or four books a month um, from the library. Number four, do you use your local library? like crazy. We go to the library at least once a week, More usually more like two or three times a week. Um, our local little branch is just a few blocks from our house, so it's one of Alice's favorite places to go. Um, I am always, I've always been a very heavy library user. I demand a lot from my library. Um, I grew up, so I grew up in Cleveland, Ohio, and the li libraries there are amazing, like really, really great. And it's not just me that thinks this, like, you know, in, in surveys and stuff and in studies, like, their library system is awesome. So I have very high standards. And even though we've lived in, like, you know, cities like San Francisco, I've still thought, like, Cleveland libraries were better. I just think public libraries are such an important kind of public institution. I think it's so important that they're free and open to anyone and um, just as, like, a source of information not only in books, but like for people to get online and all that stuff. Um, and for things like story time and like community education, I just, I'm a huge library fan. Number seven, how do you feel about charity shop or secondhand books? Um, almost all my books are used, so I like them. Number eight, do you keep your read and to be read pile together or on the same bookshelf or not? Um, generally, so if I have library books that I have read, I will usually sort of like put them by the door so that I can take them back the next time we go to the library. Um, otherwise, my shelves are mixed. I don't, I haven't read everything on my bookshelves, but um, most of the things that I own, I have read because I will like be really excited about them and have anticipated buying them before I actually get them. And so then when I get them, I just like read them right away. Number nine, do you plan to read all of the books that you own? I would love to. I actually... I mean, I don't know if it'll ha ever happen, especially with kids. Maybe like by the time I'm retired or something, I will go back and read all the books that I want to read. Um, the the to-read list is ever-growing, so I don't feel like I'll ever get caught up unless I'm like imprisoned or stranded on a deserted island with all my books. Number 10, what do you do with books that you own that you feel you will never read or felt you did not enjoy? So I donate them. Um, either to like the thrift store that will resell them or um, the used bookstore where I can get some like exchange credit and then use it to buy other books or I donate them to the little um, it's called the little free library there are little um, little free libraries all over the country or world just usually like small boxes in public spaces um, sometimes they're like in people's yards um, we have one near us that's in like a public park and they're just totally like casual, um, you know, free exchange of books. So anytime I have one, especially like if I don't think I can get any money for it um, or that the library wouldn't be able to resell it for any money or whatever, then I will go leave it there and um, just let whoever's stopping by who's interested in it just take it freely. Number 12, have you ever been on a book buying ban? I kind of am now because um, we just don't do a lot of shopping. We don't buy a lot of stuff that we don't need. I can't think of a time I was on like a strict ban, but I do really consider my purchases for a long time before I, I go out and get them and I, will, I won't buy a book unless I know that there's like no other way I can borrow from someone or get it from the library. And the last question, number 13, do you feel that you buy too many books? Not anymore, but as a kid, like as a teenager, I just bought like crazy amounts of books and in, all through college and a little bit after and I had nowhere to put them and then when I finally, when I started having to move around and move all these books, and pack them up and unpack them and all that stuff, then I started to realize that, um, you know, I could probably offload some of that. 
like I didn't really need to have be able to put my hands on every book that I loved at all times. So that's the book buying tag. Um, I will. My battery's about to die and August is about to cry. So I will tag um, a few more people and I will just put that in the box below. So look for your name down there. Say, I like books. I like books. All right.